my great privilege at this time to present to you the next president, Senator Ed Muskie. This time, labor and business and the American people are part of the same negotiating team. Together, we are bargaining with the Nixon administration for jobs and for the value of wages and prices. Our basic demand is simple and clear. We want back the prosperity that moved the nation in every recent democratic year. Let them tell that to the machinist in Fort Worth who has just read his layoff slip. Let them tell that to a manufacturer in Dallas who has just added up the figures which show that his sales are down. And how can any official claim that there is every reason for confidence in our economy or our government when every reassuring forecast from the Nixon administration for three years has turned out dead wrong? If we have learned anything from all of this, it is that you cannot cheerlead the economy out of recession and into recovery. And the full force of that lesson has been felt in hiring halls and boardrooms across this state and across the country. The truth is that while officials in Washington talk recovery, People all across America are living with recession. So after the Congress returns to Washington in September, I will introduce a comprehensive program to combat unemployment and control inflation. And that program will call for four major steps. First, I believe the federal government should cut taxes now. Second, I believe the federal government should send emergency relief dollars to hard-pressed states and localities and their property taxpayers. Third, I believe the federal government should expand the right to unemployment compensation. And so I believe a fourth and final step is essential. I believe the federal government should establish an independent price wage guidelines board. Those of us who are negotiating for prosperity cannot accept years more of an administration which pledges recovery, produces recession, and then pronounces its failures a smashing success. 